everyone, my name is Elsa DeVega. I'm the owner of K Modeling Talent Agency. I'm also a talent manager. Today I have Tom Logan, which is Hollywood director here with me. Tom, I have a couple questions for you. Very well. A lot of parents tend to ask me this, why does my kid need coaching? From a director point, what is your answer to that? There's a lot of terminology that we use on sets, first of all, that they, they're not going to understand. How to match shots, how to shoot shots, how to put them together. It's kind of the same question as my son wants to be a surgeon, why does he need to go to college? It looks real easy when you watch it on TV because these people are so well prepared. When you watch someone ice skate, you might say, why do they need coaching? They look like they're doing a beautiful job. Yeah, but the reason they look like that is because all the years of training. I cannot stress how important training is to an actor. And by the way, big stars continue to study their craft constantly. Absolutely. Most stars that I direct have their acting coach on set. And you wouldn't think that some of these people who are A-list big people have acting coaches, but they do on set. So if, if these people can have an acting coach on set, maybe anyone just starting out in the business might also need acting good, coaches. Good, good. Now you've worked with my clients for years. I've known you personally for years. What do you years. think of a parent saying, well, if you want to work with my talent, why don't you pay for the coach? And if you think they're so great, what would you say to a parent that would tell you that on set? I don't think they're that great. <laughs> there you go. No, what I, would, <laughs> <just kidding. laughs> what I would actually say is this. Um, if you're going to go in to become a doctor, you don't go to a hospital and say, well, if you think I'm going to be that good of a doctor, you pay for med school for me. If you were going to be a real estate agent, you wouldn't go to a school that has real estate and say, now, if you think I'm going to be a good enough real estate agent, you pay for my... See, life doesn't work that way. Why someone would think that's the case with acting, I don't know of any other profession where people say, I think you're so... who's never done anything. I think you were so brilliant. I'm going to pay for your education. Boy, if you could find that, I missed the boat someplace. Absolutely. What advice, as a director, would you give to parents that say, you know what, our kids want to pursue this industry? What's the first thing they should do? Start with training. Number one, start reading up on the industry and how it works. Read every book out there you could possibly read. Because it's very important that you're very educated and, and so you know that when you have the right agent, if they're doing the right things or not doing the right so start reading. There's all kind of books out there. Some, some, most of them are very good. Read them and start to educate, but then start to train. I cannot stress the importance of that. When someone comes in, if they don't have credits, and a lot of people don't, the first thing I'm going to look for is how are they trained. I mean, okay. just taking someone off the street. Who's, I know it looks that way. You watch a commercial and you go, wow, they just picked that person off the street. I could do that. Yeah, the reason it looks that way is because these people are so good at what they do. They, we, we want you to think we just pick these people up off the street and they're telling us how they really feel. It never really works that way. Okay, very good. Now, here's another question. Let's say a talent manager wants to work with you and they'll say, wonderful, you have the talent, you know, you have the look, but we want to make sure that you work on your craft, so we want you to work with these coaches to work with you either on set for the job or right. to prepare you for your industry. Now, if a talent agent referred someone, is that someone that you should probably refer to? Or what are your, what are your thoughts about an agency referring coaches on set? Do you think that's a good idea? Do you mean that idea? you're talking about um, the manager uh, referring someone to a coach for a particular exactly, job? Exactly, yes. Well, I think that's wonderful. Any oh, kind God. of a personal endorsement is always best. Okay. And, and like I said, we, we have coaches on sets all the time. Even these big shows, these, uh, well, I used to teach a class uh, in L.A. that you had to have your own series to be in the class. You could not be the co-star of the class. Okay. You had to have, this was in, way back before I started directing in the 80s, and you had to have your own television series. Now these are people who've been doing their own series eight to ten years or whatever, and they're still taking classes. I always tell people, if you want to meet actors, here's how you do it. Go find an acting class that's being taught in L.A. and stand outside and watch the people come out. And you know, you'll recognize a lot of these people. And the reason is because they're studying their craft. That's why you're seeing them on TV or in films. Even AA actors at the point right now are still coaching, aren't they? I mean, I know I've been on set before with actors that are well-known and are still coaching on set. Is that something that you're you see always con No, you, I don't see it differently. You always continue to study your craft. You know, every other profession does. Doctors continue to study new medicines that come out. They go to conventions. They learn new things. Airline pilots. Every six months have to go and fly in front of the FAA and show them they can still fly the same airplane they've been flying for 15 years to make sure they haven't lost their skill to give them tips or whatever. Uh, attorneys go and learn all kind of new case law. Teachers go and have uh, additional accreditation. 
Every profession almost continues to study their craft, except actors who think they know it all. But those are the people who don't, who, who, who don't continue to work. Yeah, those are the people that you don't see on TV now. No, and right? you wonder where they went. Yeah, that's the reason why. Exactly. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Tom, oh, for being here. Thank you for here. having me. It's Absolutely. been so great working with thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for thank watching. We'll definitely have Tom here very soon again. Once again, this is Elsa with KTAL Agency in Fresno.